Hello. My little beasties. Oh. Kratos. Atreus. A welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. Don't know who you are, man. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. <laughs> and for once in the shape of a man. Or... Nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. Mm. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildes Vini. Uh... Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... Oh, oh my god. So, so sorry about that. What? Her advisor and friend. Counselor what? to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even... Mimirs. Come. That's cool. That's Just crazy. Watch where you aim that bow of yours. <laughs> My hide's not so thick in this form. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Okay. Hold on. When we first met Freya as the Witch of the Woods, we had wounded her magical boar and helped her to heal him. Now we have met him restored to his human form. He, a trusted counselor to Freya and Freyr, he appears to hold no grudge against Atreus and I, but his rivalry with Mimir seems long and bitter. I wouldn't say human form. He's not human. Humanoid, maybe. Is Freya. She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigfear. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Oh, that's that great. Happened. An ambush. Their presence has intensified since your last visit. I wonder why. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. At least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hot, it'd be a fellow child. Well. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. Thanks. So we're going after the wolves now, huh? All right, all right. And don't shoot any boar. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's really forgiving you for shooting him? Trust me, lad. Oops. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. You should probably work on that, Mimir. Just curious. <laughs> Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy. Huh? Okay, mm. okay. Point taken. <laughs> Fuck you. I forgot about the the plants that want to kill you here. Excuse me. Welcome in Brad. Yeah. 
I figured something was gonna attack us. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Take this and this. Ow. Oh, shit. Take care of these damn wisps before they turn into a white. Ow. and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humans. Egros. I like it. <laughs> it's nice hearing Kratos, like, actually say Greek words. You know, still remembering his where he came from. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, of course. There's another one, so... There we go. Ow. Okay, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Let it blow. Oh, there's a fucking... Where did you come from? You did not exist 10 seconds ago. Okay, I totally hit L1 for that, but whatever. Assholes. There any okay. Thought I had picked that one up, but I guess not. Treus, come. There must be secrets. And we must get them all. All the secrets. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. Domo origato, Mr. Roboto. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Luna yet. Yes, we have. Who's Luna? An old contemporary of the Hulder brothers. She serves as Freya's blacksmith. We, we have met her, actually. Not too long ago. Keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... Mm, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 That's funny. That's really hey, funny. Nephew, we're here. Stay alert. Wonder where they went. Eaten by a knockin', perhaps. Hopefully. Hopefully. You 
know, lad. This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. Mm -hmm. I'm in no hurry to do so. <laughs> <laughs> Hilda's Vini said Freyr and Bigbeer were captured. Who's Bigbeer? He's a light elf. A former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife, Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait. Can't go that way. A dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Same. Go! Oh! Oh, great. Hehe. <laughs> oh, really? And there's a fucking Nogan, too. Where? There you are, you little... Shit. Done. Now let me open my damn chest. That's all I wanted to do. I heard a raven. There you are. I also saw See that up there. But I also hear some quite disturbing noises at the moment. like that. What do I need? I need a B, an F, and a C. A weird C. Oh, it's a wolver. Ow. We got this. You ain't nothing. <laughs> oh, that's so gruesome. Every time. Every time, man. Amir, you once told us Ragnarok begins when the storm hockey catches the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. <laughs> Odin still believes. That's got to be why the Aenor... We are stole the moon. Still stole the moon. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure. I can sense them up there. It's got to be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. 
At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> I hope. Oh. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. I well, think you're right. The legendary celestial wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. <laughs> Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Mm. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. <laughs> Can I pet them? I want to pet them. I want to pet them. Wow, that's pretty. Super pretty. All right, let's go find the moon, I guess. <laughs> the Aner Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. Mm -hmm. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hilda's Vini and the elves, who else is part of the yeah. army? Not much army, really. Yeah. The old beer girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. Yeah. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. Yeah. You can say that again. Is that another one? Or is that just the, the one we found already? I think it's the one we found already. Hello. Wolves attack. Ow. It's a bit of a cheap shot, don't you think? Hitting me in the back. Ow. No, I'm not. Because I got that cool uh, shield attachment. Where I can just do a shield strike and it gets rid of all of my, my Bifrost and stuff. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. I'm not surprised. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Absolutely. Hmm. Fitting. Hey, that's done. Cool. Uh Yeah, I don't know which one it was. Oh well. I swear the triggers are so sensitive. I like barely put any pressure on it and he'll swing. Guess they know we're coming. Clearly. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Mm hmm. I heard a raven. I don't see it from here.
Get, get, get out of the way, Atreus. Where are you? I feel like it's in this tree somewhere. Yeah, my guess is it's up there, but I can't see it from where we are currently at. Hmm. Got some good aim there, Kratos. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Something over there, I guess. Uh, Empty. Where'd they all go? Hmm. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. I think I can say that you are correct in that. Ow! Jesus Christ! Yeah, I, I know. Take this and this. Pride of the Frost. Hold on, I gotta see what what I just did. What did I do? Ah, I see what I did. Yeah, damage, 100%. Oh, I can upgrade a trace, this last thing. Yes, please. It's been one of my annoyances with the arrows is that you only have three. Off with your arms. I I literally had my shield up when he attacked me. Can't stop thinking about food. I'm so I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <sighs> yeah, we got more than one now. Ow. Can I just count as a death for him, please? Thank you. How about you come over here and stop being a little bitchy? Where'd 
We done? Are we done with that? Just hoping that puts a dent in Thank you. Forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> Atreus would know. He's been there. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. <laughs> Definitely is. Hey! Hurry! Uh. You're getting away! <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Kratos. A double ambush? Okay, didn't see that coming. Careful, brother. You're covered in five Not anymore, I'm not. It's coming! Right Anything else to take from here? No. Haha, I cheated. I put this on here earlier. Hold on, I know, I know, we're technically in a rush, but hear it. I hear it, I just don't see it. There it is. Got it. Oops. There. Hello. That was easy. She's still up there. Another ambush? Really? Not trained for job. They are not smart. I and does that. <laughs> you know what we're doing right now? All of this? It's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. You might not want to mention are that. Back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing Wait, the yes. What's over here? I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies... Can I have. drop down? That is our focus now. I... No? Can't go down there? It's literally not letting me. You've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. Oh, that's why. It's like, no, no exploring. We're too busy right now. Not gonna. Okay. There we go. That's done. These members of Odin's army specialize in wrangling fearsome beasts to their will and can summon them to their aid in combat. Never a welcome complication. Do some of that. Kratos just loves breaking things next, doesn't he? As majestic as it is dangerous, unlike Drakes and Drecky, the Wyvern is not a member of the Dragon family. Their lack of four legs is more than made up for with the dexterity and speed of their wings. Seeing one take flight makes the feat seem as easy as a fish gliding through the waters of a calm lake. Wyverns were originally tamed, or rather quote, tamed at one point in time by the Vanir. Before the occupation of Anaheim, riders developed close bonds with the mounts, 
which required a significant amount of trust from either party. It was well worth the trouble, I've been told, so much so that Odin's Anriar have opted to replicate it, enslaving the wyverns of Anaheim in the process. Just like Odin would do. No? Oh. It's cold. Is this? It's from Elrond. Mm. Time to almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And it's now okay. you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, you were doing something else. It's not like you knew what Heimdall was doing. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Yeah, that's debatable. The things that have happened to you are what's forcing you to make these choices. Because otherwise you wouldn't have to be making these choices. You know? It's like... It's like, take me for example. I uh, recently had a little tiny bit of a car accident. Uh, I was driving down the road what after if, work. Am I doing all this? Hold on. What if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember no. Remember our agreement? <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm gonna, I want to finish the story. So I was driving home from work, and I was driving down the street, obviously, and there was a guy, an older guy, and he tried to switch lanes and wasn't paying attention, and he bumped me a little bit and did some damage. Not a lot. It's very almost, like, not even noticeable damage. Um, but, you know, I filed a claim with insurance, and... Uh, they were all like, oh, it's going to be like $900, almost a grand to uh, to fix this. And I'm like, I don't think that's true. So my choice is I can either accept that or I can just not do anything about it because it's really not that bad, if I'm being honest. But 